I'm traveling to Eindhoven in Holland. I want to find out more about 3D printed food and the role it could play in the future of food production. So I'm here to meet two young university students who have formed a company called Upprinting. They take wasted food that nobody wants, it's just going to become garbage, and instead they turn it into fancy, luxurious food that high-end restaurants want to use. Vita Brücken and Elsa Linda von Dolleverd started their company in late 2018. It could play a part in recycling some of the 1.3 billion tons of food that gets wasted worldwide every year. So in Europe, the average is about 20% food waste, um, and then worldwide it's one third. Here, they blend food waste together with seasonings for taste and turn it into a paste, which is then used to print the food. We can use this technology to create attractive food that really gains value and people are willing to eat it again. After printing, the food is baked and dried, giving it a second life. Currently, it's not quick enough for like mass production, but that might be a possibility, but we're first focusing on the restaurants. Restaurants, along with bakeries and caterers, are also a key client of nearby company Byflow. It sells its 3D printer worldwide at a cost of 3,900 euros. Hi, I'm Patrick. Hi, how are you? For now, it's really like beautiful food. Uh, it's food that um, cannot be made by mold or by hand, for example. But developments are ongoing. Experts predict the 3D food printing market will be worth over half a billion dollars by 2023. I don't believe it's going to stay these small printers. We're already looking into ways, for example, uh, to make food based on your DNA. We should be able in the future to make food that is good for your body, different than for your neighbor or for your uh, children or for your husband or wife. And this ganache is for me. <laughs> oh my, it's very good. I feel sort of bad destroying the FT like this. Beyond beautiful food, 3D printers' ability to improve the appearance and edibility of healthy foods could also enhance the diets of the young, the obese, or the elderly. In Sweden, for example, 3D printed food will be trialed at care homes by the end of this year. Also, protein sources less damaging to the environment than livestock, such as insects or algae, could be printed into more palatable forms. But I'd like to see some 3D printed food at an actual restaurant. Jasper Korschmidt is head chef at The Lounge. We use it up from the, the butter and the bread to the starters, to the main courses and the dessert. Uh, we want it as an additive to our dishes, uh, just the extra, the surprise uh, element in our uh, creations that we make every day. This cream cheese will take five minutes to create. You can just see all the different layers, so it's like a bit of a maze. Yeah. But it's early days for 3D printed food, so it's still very much about embellishments and marketing. Something you can uh, show your restaurant with, you uh, make an advertisement with, uh, people want to come, want to see, are curious uh, in what it is. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> right now, it's hard to say whether it will scale up, but it is going to be an industry worth keeping an eye on over the next five to 10 years. It's very good. <laughs>